If you've never been to an air show, think of it like this. It's a show in the air with planes and stuff. You should totally go. Or should you? Because now there's a television show about air shows called Air Show on Discovery. What made you say, yeah, I want to make a show on these <laughs> <laughs> No offense, Super Dave. It makes sense. We did a show called Highway Through Hell for Discovery. It was kind of a big hit. And they kept saying, well, why don't you do a show about us? We're more interesting than those guys. During the pitching process, Dave was actually flying a plane and thing caught fire. Oh, wow. And he sends me these pictures on his iPhone. So nudes? Not, no, no oh, nudes. Okay. All burned up, airplane on a lake. Let's film it next time. Piece of cake, right? Crash it, risk your life. It wasn't a crash, it was a perfect landing when I was on fire. There's a difference. Okay, yes, I always get those mixed up. Mark, it says in your bio that you've somehow managed to get your DNA on the planet Mars. I mean, I've managed to spray mine all over Earth, <laughs> but yeah. That was a long trip. Mark, what surprised you the most about the world of air shows? How little money these guys made. It wasn't the cockpitters. You know, the air show groupies, wing tramps, the flap floozies. <clears throat> Funny story, my mom almost left my dad for a baggage handler at Dulles Airport. She just fell into the life, so I could see how it happens. <laughs> Anywho, Soup, when you go to work, there's a chance that something could go horribly wrong, and it has in the past. How do you fly with that bouncing around in your head? It's the same risk I take like how you dress yourself today. Um, you just you throw it out there. Sometimes it works, obviously sometimes it doesn't. There are a lot of studies that say sitting can kill you and I should probably request a standing desk, but I guess I'm a lot like you. I get off cheating death. Set your VCR for Monday when Super Dave and I climb into the cockpit to get hooked on the most powerful drug on the planet, <laughs> adrenaline. Together we buzz the tower, flip off an enemy MIG, and fall madly in love. It's must-see boner TV. For 8 o'clock, I'm Paul Lemieux.